Sorry, you Actually, I think out. my favorite thing here is the slurp juice. No lie. I haven't had that. It's literally just like... Is it godlike? It, it's Mountain Dew and Sierra Mist mixed together with like raspberry stuff. Oh, damn. Yeah, it's actually pretty good. But we're going into this game. We have Teach Twan going against Gossamer. Yeah, yeah. Gossamer. Twan was a... Uh, yeah, Meta Knight in Smash 4, right? Yes. Uh, okay. He tried picking up Ices uh, in the very beginning yeah, of the game, okay. but... You know, like all other IC players that try to get to the characters, oh, actually, oh, to make oh, things happen. But happen. Gossamer is kind of rolling at the moment, leading him up into another back air. Has to one right back off stage. Yep. Okay. Makes it back. Fortunately, Meta Knight has like five recovery moves, so you know. Yeah, he was going. Um. So in uh the match prior, when I saw Tuan, he was not playing Meta Knight. He was playing. I have a terrible memory. Pit? Was it no, Pit or Palutena? Wasn't either. Palutena. Palutena. Yeah. Palutena. So uh, originally, his his. First main in Smash 4 was Pit. Uh, he okay. really enjoys the character Pit. Got quite the buff into this game. Massive right. disjoint of Palutena. Same thing. Uh, yeah, I feel being like... a massive disjoint. Plus, she has a plethora of options to like, try to kill you and set you up. Yeah, it's. I feel like Palutena is one of these characters where everyone has a Palutena. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh, that was the that was the snipe. Yeah, casting him with the turn. I'm telling him to eat his vegetables real quick. But one answering right back with that back throw. Ooh, he's trying okay. to get that back here, but the turn up coming in, interrupting. Yeah, that was big. Oh my god, 39 damage. Basically just off of that, that like that misjudgment. No, no, Peach is crazy. You get hit by one stray turn up, one stray down air. You're gonna lead oh, it god. to another 40-50%. Yeah, Peach's combo game is nuts. And like very like kind of character independent. I feel like she just kind of combos everybody. Yeah. That'll do it, the back air towards the ledge. Yeah, very strong move. Mm -hmm. Green option to go ahead and cover jump or even just regular get up. Uh, Twan trying to keep up this pressure. Oh, oh unfortunately, oh. the down tilt actually pushing Gossamer mm -hmm. into the opposite direction of him. Our forward air coming up from Gossamer. Yep. Sending Twan right back off stage, leading to yet another back air. Is he going to get sniped one more time? No, it just goes high. Pretty much had to use all his jumps there to get under him. Yeah, I mean, we'll that's just the benefit of you playing a character with these multi jumps, trying to get around the projectiles, or even just the kill setups that Peach want to do. Because Peach is look for that forwarder for the regular getup, or even if you're trying to rise up, but go with the down tilt to rise you up and get a combo off of it as well. Right. Ooh, okay. The out again, calling out the aerial out of Twan. Yeah, that was nuts. Because he waited a second too. It like wasn't instant toad. It was like inst okay, you're shielding. You're gonna aerial out of shield. Ooh, first hit. Doesn't get. Actually, couldn't get anything else out of it. Yeah, you can keep going, right? If you get the proper like drag down. Okay. Yeah, I think it was just a little bit too late to get that up there. To mm -hmm. pull him down, like you said. Nice. Oh, not getting the sweet spot of that back air. Fortunate for Twan, still on stage, uh, leading him to yet another neutral way back air. Not going to be online, but Gossamer taking full advantage of the float, waiting for Twan to push that first button. There we go, the X kill Twan again, just really fishing for these kills, but Gossamer playing so patient. Yeah. Really allowing the game to come to himself. And kind of when you're in those edge guard situations, especially against Peach, if she's floating at that height, it's kind of tricky because once Meta Knight does one of his double jumps, his double jumps don't go that high. He doesn't get that much height off them. Yeah, he can do that to like to, to rise, but to that extent, Peach has like a pretty good recovery against characters like this. Definitely. There we have yet another back row setting. Twan right back off stage, trying to set up with the turnips. Trades with the shuttle. This actually goes in the favor of Gossamer. Dash that should take the stock, and it does. Gossamer taking away game one with a two stock. Yeah, that was like pretty much rage assisted, right? Like if he's at zero, that's not killing quite the same way. I don't think. <laughs> Definitely not. But great stuff from Gossamer there, and really, I think something that we're gonna look out for progressing through this set is mm. the use of Toad, because now that's imprinted in Twan's mind. Like, yeah. I want to nair out of shield when you're harassing me, but if I do that, I might die. Right, right, right. And so, like, there's a couple ways you can obviously go about that, where you can just chill for longer and, like, just extra wait for the Toad and then punish the Toad, but, you know, you don't want to just be sitting there stuck in shield forever, because then they can just go one more layer on you. Yeah, no, and actually a really good thing about Peach is that when she does nair into your shield, ah, she's actually plus for a little bit, just because it takes yeah. so long for your jab or your shield to go ahead and drop, because there's those additional six frames, plus the six frame input lag as there is already. Yeah, a lot of a lot of people are basically saying, you know, as far as like pressing your shield goes, Peaches are oh the my best. Goodness, that 34. was 34. Gets and the we grab have the pit coming out too, so. Yup. All right, solid neutral are coming out from Twan. Only 10% in Gossamer, just rising up with the down air as well, getting some more percent. Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, that's going to be a quick punish. Down throw one more time. Back air not going to find the mark. But Twan in the early going. He's really struggling with his counter pick. Some damage here, yeah. You don't really get the longest strings off of those nares, right? But it's something. 
No, I mean, what a lot of pits end up trying to do is they try to get a sour hit, hit of that down air to lead into the nair to get mm. even more damage. But uh, unfortunately, that has not been the case so far. No tech, but Pit has a fantastic recovery to go ahead and come back. Yeah. Looking to stuff it with the downer there, but uh, yeah, he gets it back on stage. But really, honestly, like Juan hasn't had much of an off, like offensive, like game plan. He's kind of just been on the back no foot. There's been no presence for his offense. Like really, yeah. this forty-six percent that is on Gossamer is this all from these straight hits? Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. Or like if Gossamer overextends, you know, and like he gets like okay, he gets some straight hit off of that. Yeah, but hopefully he can ride out the momentum. This is only two out of three, so Juan has to figure it out very quickly. Yeah, he doesn't have a. Uh, now he's only got, ah, oh, no, living. A phenomenal DI to go ahead and live through that. Mm -hmm. The Blast Zones of FD help him out just a little bit, but you know what? The Blast Zones aren't going to help you if you can't tech. Yeah, that's not the first time he's missed that tech on the, the turn up throw either, so. Ooh. Right, he's just getting the grab. A down throw to cross up that DI. Good stuff. Ah. He was like a little bit too late to go for what he did there. He just side becomes out pretty fast, right? Yeah. Like, faster than. Faster than you'd expect, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I mean, what helps out is the sound cue, because Peach makes the noise to help you out. So what a lot of Peach and Daisy players like is that sometimes they'll slip to Daisy just yeah. because There's the sound, no sound cue is cue. later, yeah. Right, she, always, she doesn't have the ah part, it's yep. just the cha. <laughs> is there any other difference between Peach and Daisy, really? From what I've been researching and what I've been hearing, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I talked to a, a Japanese, you know, Daisy player, and they were basically saying, well, it's a straight buff. Because there's no sound kill on the side, yeah. so I just play Daisy. And it's like, oh, okay. Well, it's like, what hair sense. color do you want, honestly? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> All right, but as we've been talking, here we have Quan knocking up this little comeback, going to take the lead after yeah. the Rapid Jazz. For the first time. Yeah, really just finding his own in this set right now. But mm -hmm. Gossamer still keeping up all this pressure. Yet another rising backer into that forwarder. Twan right back off stage, eating a turnip again. Yeah, the turnips are doing a lot of work. Oh, that was sick! Forcing the up B there. With the turnips, Twan right? Yeah, because Twan was aware of this of the option of him just throwing the turnip straight down again. He did not want to be in a, put in the situation. To yeah, that was that was godlike. Okay. Yeah, and Peach looks really hard to edge guard too. Like, with that float, like, yeah, you can throw some forwarders out there. You know, you can go for some arrows, but. Yeah, but a rising aerials are actually that good off the ledge as well. Look at, oh look at that God. feedback. So much pressure from the crowd. Yeah, that's basically like turning a bad situation into just extra damage. And up in Swans is barely uh, off the mark to land the upper dash arm. Yeah, he's doing a sick job, just like kind of reading the options he's going for. Like, right there, when he downers perfectly over the ledge. Looking for the fall, like, just the, the instant fall, okay. Yeah, he gets the kill. No, but Toph, in that last in interaction, Juan rose up with his forwarder, but Peach's Nair so fast just got yeah. in between before the hitboxes even came out. Just stuffed out Juan completely. This is going to be uh, difficult for him. Ooh, really good tech, but hey, can he do it again? Doesn't end up needing to. He's back on the stage, and he's got something here. Playing neutral, but... Okay. Yeah, this is the start, exactly what he needs. He can't take too many more of those dash attacks. Yeah, he lost his first that's talk. a strong move. Can he, you know, I haven't seen him go for that. Can he use that reflect on turnips, like, more? Like He can, but there's, it really depends on how what the spacing is. Got if he's you. too close, there's going to be too much lag for him to and do anything out of it. She might just hit you. Okay. Yeah, I mean, especially if, if Gossamer just shields the turnips. Right, right, right. Oh no, okay, God. please I was gonna say please don't die to down air off the top. Yeah, that would have been that would have been sad. A rash okay. arm Ooh, it's a spot dodging away from the side beat. Forward smash not gonna be on the mark. Beautiful save back right there coming out from Gosper. Right. Another dash attack to take it away. Man, that was like that was close. Forward smash was so would forward smash have KO'd there? Yes. Forward smash would have KO'd. That but was he, but not he didn't one. react immediately. Mm. So that slight hesitation spelled Tuan's doom, and Gossamer had the opportunity to fade back, then come back to the ledge. Man, that would have been a godlike comeback, too. And he, he like, was inches away. 